This is Stacy. This is Stacy's Pot House. This is my house. It's where I'm going to be making some pots. That over there is Earl, my dog. Hello, pottery people. Yes, purple. I don't know. I went into buy brown, and there it was, and I had to do it. I had to do it. So I've been really busy the last couple of weeks, but as I promised, I've got some fun stuff to show you today. I have been waiting because I waited for the whole process to finish, plus some of these were for gifts, but I'm so happy with how these cups came out. I sat down one Saturday night and just started making cups, and all of them came out great. I'm so happy, and I cannot wait to show you what went down with these cups. Hey folks, so I've got six cups I'm going to trim today and add handles and I'm going to try to do some of my little decorating techniques on them. So, first things first, get my trimming on. Yeah, what's up? Alright, so I made a variety of handles last night and covered them really good so they could set up. I just want them to sort of take shape. Um, I kind of had an idea in mind for every single cup, so hopefully these handles will work. Okay. These first ones are going to have, I'm making for my dad, and I'm going to do, I'm going to try to stencil these deers on here, although they're too big, dadgummit. So I'm going to have to go do something, I'm going to go print smaller ones of that. So, but in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and get these handles on here. So, because I'm doing a deer on here, I wanted to make this handle that sort of mimicked um, antlers, even though it's just a braid. I think it'll be cool if it works. We will see. Okay, so time to do this elk again. This is how I did the other one. So there it is. Now I'll take this and start following the outline. I'm just going to go in here and start removing The underglaze. that I made. Actually, this was supposed to be one of the other ones. I didn't think it would trim up as well as it did, but I love it. So, I'm going to put just a generic, simple handle on it in keeping with the form. I found the side that I thought was the ugliest right there. And right there. Okay, so I'm making the teacup. I cut a little slice into the back here to house the, uh, for the strings for the teacup, for the tea bag. And then on the front, I'm pressing in these letters that are going to say T and Tolkien for me. 
cute, right? Cute, cute, cute. Cute, cute, cute. So now I'm going to fill this in with a black and then I'll wax in the letters so that the underglaze comes through. Cute. Okay, so this one I want to make for Tasha. But I want it to have a surprise. I want there to be like a little mouse or something down here in the bottom of this sucker. So I'm going to try to hand build, try to hand build myself a little mouse. All right, there's the little mouse. I'm gonna make sure he... So this is tricky. All right, mouse in a cup. Okay, so for the bird, I've rolled out this slab, and I'm just going to sort of trace these shapes. Okay, I'm going to paint the circles yellow. I'm going to paint the bird red. I feel like the white will pop. Okay, now I'm sticking these little pieces all on here. All right, so put a bird on it. I did. Kind of. Looks like a bunch of stuff barfed up on this thing. I don't know if it's going to work out or not, but be good to put the little bird on its show, though. I don't know if we may all ever drink out of it. So here's my box of cups. The cups are done. Here's my little teacup. Tea and Tolkien for me. Little cutouts for the tea bag to sit in. Really, really happy with how this came out. It's really cute. Here is the set of mugs for Father's Day to send to my dad. Those actually came out really cool, and I think that's going to be beautiful to just glaze that in clear and uh, let the natural clay show through. I think it's going to be a really cool. It's be really cool looking. Here's its twin. Those look great. Love the braided handles look adorable. And here's just the other cup that has got it's got a great trimming job on it. But I haven't I think I'm just gonna 
I might just give that a cool glaze and call it a day. That would be a nice little coffee cup right there. I put a bird on a cup for my teacher's birthday. I did, I did. Handle. I am real pleased with this one too. You know, it's got kind of everything she's taught me. I pulled the mug, hand built the decals, used underglazes for a lot of the color, scraffitoed over the underglazes, trimming. Love my feather handle. Hope people get it that that's a feather handle. Anyway. So, and the, the mouse cup for the bean. She's going to be so excited. It's just such a cute cup in general. And then the surprise on the inside when you take a drink. Book. Little mouse. Hello, I'm a little mouse. You get another nice trim job. Real happy. Oh. Oh. Well, that is the most depressing thing that's happened all day. That is tragic. Yes. I guess what I'm going to do is... I'll just pull another little cut and try to save him in a bag. And I'll put him in the bottom of another cup. So sad. Ha ha! Mouse cup part deal. Yeah. Let me else inside. So a little tail. The, the handle looks like a little tail. How cute is that? I'm not going to handle this one like I did yesterday and then drop it and break it. It's very cute though. Mouse cup. The tiniest cup on earth. To show you how tiny, we'll put it next to a daisy. You see it's about the size of a couple of daisies. It's very tiny. Um, one of these days I will get my shrinkage factor down and it'll be okay. Sure is a nice glaze job though. Mm -hmm. The tea in Tolkien for me cup. Came out a pretty good size. I think it's good for a cup of tea actually. The handle looks nice. My little grooves there for the tea bag came out good. Really happy with that little sucker. Nice trim. The cup almost killed it. Came out real cute. Dad's elk mugs. Also adorable. Inside I did clear. The handles I did clear to give them some stability. I left the elks raw. So they're all rough. So fun. Didn't leave a lot of a bottom on them, so not much of a bottom, but they are cute. Super happy. The put a bird on it cup also shrank down very small. You see it just barely fits in your hand. It's like a palm cup. But at least it's somewhat usable. Real happy with it though. Cute. It came out really cute. Nice trim job on the bottom. Yeah. Real happy with it. The mouse cup, the mouse cup, da 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 da, the mouse cup. How cute is my mouse cup? Seriously? Uh, Dorbs. This little tail. So stinking cute. Yep, almost lost your own kiln shelf, but it made it!